Okay, YouTube, we got a great video for you today. This is the new Maserati SUV called the Levante. Uh, this video, uh, special thanks to uh, Maserati of Bergen County for letting us film this car. This car has just come out. Uh, there's two uh, three liter turbo V6 engines for this car. This is actually the base model, though there's really no such thing as a base with the Levante. Uh, this is the base 345 horsepower engine with 369 foot-pounds of torque. There's also a uh, larger three liter turbo engine that is actually 425 horsepower. Uh, this car handles real well. It's 50-50 weight distribution, even for a 4,600 pound SUV. Uh, plenty of leg room in back. Again, I'm six feet tall. That is my uh, seating position, as you can see. I'll sit behind myself. Uh, you can fit very easily. This is uh, the base model, the starting price for the 345 horsepower engine one is uh, $72,000. This one as equipped has some options at $79,000. Uh, we got this beautiful sunroof up here, which I'll try to figure out now how to work. Uh, there's a very intuitive uh, control system. I can tell you it's a hot day today and this air conditioning works great. Nice Maserati gauges. I always think the Maseratis have great gauges and a great steering wheel. Uh, very nice uh, interior, comfortable seats. Plenty of uh, trunk space in the back. Oh. Well, overall, very sharp looking car. Uh, the biggest surprise for me is the handling in that 50-50 weight distribution. Most uh, SUVs are very nose heavy. And I can tell you right now that this uh, Maserati handles very well. Uh, this has the premium package. Uh, blind spot detection. Uh, it's the round sound video camera, metallic paint, panoramic sunroof. The uh, put it in reverse, there's a car behind me so I can't go backwards. But it actually does, uh, let's see. I gotta get it, I actually gotta get it in reverse first. Uh, you got this really great shot. There's a car behind us, you can kind of see where you are in the lines. You also have an overhead view. You got some nice instrumentation here too. You got park sensors. Let's see if we can open that sunroof here. Uh, well, there the trunk's gonna open up. So we'll... Uh, All right, let's take a look at the trunk. Here you got the stop start button. I think every car now has stop start buttons. Uh, this stereo system sounds very good. Here you got your trunk mats. Uh, there's plenty of uh, plenty of tr trunk room here on the SUV. Very nice mats it comes with. Uh, underneath you have all your spare savers. Very nice, uh, very nice trunk, very nice place to be. Easily closes. Shut that all the way. There is your uh, backup camera. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of hidden. You have your parking sensors, of course, on the bottom. I don't know if you can see how well you can see that through here. Nice wheels, nice tires. These are all season tires in this particular model. This is 19 inch wheels. Tire size are 285, 50, 19s. Stereo system sounds very good. Uh, again, Driving this car, it, uh, it really handles very well. It's actually impressive for a 4,600 pound car. Materials are nice here. You know, a little plasticky, but it's, uh, it's still a nice place to be. The seat is super comfortable. All the uh, touch points are very soft. These seats are really nice. Uh, as I said before, you can fit adults in the back, no problems. And uh, 
If you're looking for everyday car, this is definitely the car to uh, come see. So uh, here we go. Finally found the sunroof button. It's this little button hitting right, hitting right here. But uh, nice sunroof that goes back. And tilts up and actually goes all the way up. And I can hold the button down and it comes out. That's, you know, an SUV. I'm not really a sunroof person, but in an SUV, uh, I think it actually fits the character and, and, and does well here. Uh, again, gorgeous looking car. If you need some more power, uh, get the higher mileage one with the 425 horsepower, 450 pounds of torque. Uh, I think this gets good gas mileage for an SUV, 16 combined, 14 and 20. Uh, as you can see the estimates for city and highway. And uh, this is one of the first uh, to come out. Another great thing about these cars is they have limited slip differentials. Uh, you don't see that too often, especially on an SUV. I wish my Jeep Cherokee had that, but uh, that really uh, makes a difference here. You also have an air suspension uh, that's adaptive, uh, power steering with speed sensitive feature. You have torque vectoring. I don't know if you can see that on here, but there's actually torque vectoring. So that really uh, makes this a good handling SUV. So everything is trying to be a Macan now or my GLA 45 AMG. And you know what? That's a good thing. It'd be great if we can have some uh, you know, nice driving SUVs. So here's the Levante. I can tell you that it's a great car. Uh, if you're shopping for one, check it out. What car does this compete with? I think what really this is going to compete the most with is the Jaguar F-Pace. So uh, you might want to check that out as well. But uh, I can tell you all good with the uh, Maserati Levante. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel so we can continue to make videos. Thanks again for your support.